What's going on? How are y'all doing? I know it has been two months since I've uploaded, but hear me out. I'll explain everything at the end of the video. You guys will understand and probably forgive me because y'all are going to want to know why. But anyways, today I'm going to be bringing you guys an insane tutorial. I've cooked up something that is absolutely crazy. Nobody else has done something similar and you're going to want this for your music videos. You don't want to miss out. So enough yapping. I'm going to yap at the end of this video so you guys will understand why. But yeah, let's put the glasses on. Let's hop on After Effects and let's get right into this video, boys. So here in After Effects, I'm going to show you guys what these lyrics could look like. Before we get into this tutorial, I'm going to just play this through and let you guys watch. So as you can see, we have these super cool lyric pop-up animations. That one was super fire. We got a bunch of different styles and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make them because I know you've been seeing this in a bunch of music videos like this kind of stuff has been everywhere lately and if you've tried to make them yourself you know that it can take time to make the animations find the fonts and make it look good track it in your scene all that it's just kind of a kind of a hassle and there's no need to lose time like that anymore in 2025 so what I did is I locked in for about a month and I created a system to make it literally a one-click almost a one-click process you just got to click like two three times replace the text and you're good and i'm going to show you how to do that how to use them and how to get these same exact looks because these are absolutely fire you're going to want these in your music videos all artists are starting to use them and it just looks absolutely fire and it's an insane way to showcase and highlight key lyrics in a music video and kind of make a lyric pop and hit more if that makes sense anyways enough yaps sorry i'm rusty it's been a while since i've recorded but i'm going to show you how to do this so what i'm going to do is grab let's say I'm gonna want to do, I think this clip, cause this clip is super fire. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna click you to close those keyframes, copy this clip by hitting Command C, opening a new comp with Command N, click enter, boom, paste that in, and we're just gonna cut this out right here so that we, this, so we only have this as our entire comp duration. Stumbling over my words, man. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what you're gonna do is come over to your projects file right here. And if you already have the animated lyrics pack, and if you do, big shout out to you. I know you're enjoying them because <laughs> they're so fire. But anyways, what you're going to do is come to the lyrics project file right here, the lyrics AEP. You're going to drag that in. Wait for that to load pretty fast. Boom, we got that. We're going to come into lyrics right here, and you're going to go to the comp right here that's called lyrics. Double click that, and boom, right here we have over 16 different lyrics to choose from. Let me just run through these real quick, pause, boom. As you can see, there's a bunch of different ones to choose and basically just like endless choice. Like you can never get bored because you have so many different ones. They all look so cool. So I'm going to show you how to use them. And I think I'm going to be using the lyrics one right here for our first clip. Looks fire. So what I'm going to do is double click it and I'm going to go right here and replace. So the text on the last one, let me just check that. Yeah. Okay. So the first. Boom, click the second one, double click that, put the asterisk there. I am not allowed to write or say that word. And then he said that gets killed or something. Uh, so we're gonna do that, it's killed. As you can see, we're like 75% done and the whole animation is done for you. You got a bunch of different fonts in this pack to play with because hunting fonts and trying to find good fonts is just a waste of time. It's just, there's just no sense in doing this in 2025. Like. It's just a waste of time unless you already have a good font library. But yeah, you have a bunch of different fonts. You won't ever have to go font hunting again with the fonts I provide in this pack. Everything is literally done so you don't have to waste time. That's what I just essentially created. Something that just saves time and looks good, essentially. So yeah, we're already done. So I'm going to go back to the lyrics comp. I'm going to command C to copy that over to my actual comp. Boom. Done. Done. I'm just going to place this right here. Boom. Make that a bit smaller, align this with the top, and play that through. And let's just wait for that to load. Computer is a bit slow today. And yeah, boom, we already have an insane result, and that took us what, 30 seconds? Not even. So we're gonna do a couple different ones so you guys can really see how awesome this pack is. We're gonna choose this one right here. Let's just write some random stuff like uh, baby, chief. And then do it right there boom go back to lyrics copy paste and if it's outside just like that what you want to do is just make your comp size a bit larger by clicking command k just like that clicking right here making that i don't know like 100 just to be safe clicking ok boom zoom out bring it in go all the way out right here out right click 
trim comp to work area, boom, back to what it was originally. And let's just place this right here. And since it's 3D, you can play around with like the perspective of it. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna grab the Y axis. And as you can see, whenever you grab the Y axis, it basically moves like that, makes it feel like a bit more 3D. We can even play with the Z axis and even the X axis, just like that. And if we play that through, yeah, absolutely fire. And as you can see, again, that took us like, what, 30 seconds to do. And if you wanna take it a step further, you can 3D track it just like how I did in, let's say, this one right here. Yeah, this one right here, it's 3D track, so if I just close all those keyframes, as you can see, we have a 3D tracker right here, and we have the lyrics tracked, so they move and kind of have more perspective. So if you wanna take it a step further, you can 3D track them on more of like moving scenes, because for example, comp two right here, it's pretty flat, and there's, it's like, I mean, the shot is on a tripod, so there's no sense in 3D tracking, because the shot is still, wouldn't really add depth and that's why you would play with the 3d aspect of it in this sense but for the other comp right here let me just go to pre-comp there it is since the clip is moving and we have more depth with baby chief right here in the foreground and then we have a background going on we kind of want to place it in between the background and the foreground and that's what i did right there by using a 3d camera tracker and if you don't know how to do that you would just come up to window you would click tracker and then you would just select your clip and click track camera. So if I were to just do that again, oops, let me just do that again. Analyze, oh, I did the wrong thing, hold on, my bad. Let me go back to window, tracker, track camera, and it's just gonna analyze just like that. And once you're done, you're gonna see you get a bunch of points. And what you wanna do is find a sort of triangle that doesn't really move. Like for example, this one right here, you would just right click and either create a null or a solid and you would just link it with your text. And as you can see, it just auto linked itself already. So boom, as you can see, the text is completely linked to the background. And that took what, another 30 seconds and it looks fire. So this is just pretty much a no brainer. I think this looks absolutely fire. So yeah, I mean, you got over 16 templates to play with and you have all of these custom templates which are already 3D tracked. All you got to do is swap for your video, swap your text, and redo the track and you're good to go literally in like probably like a minute and you got a bunch of cool ones and even right here you got free presets in here so for example we have a uh, crash room from energy v3 that doesn't use sapphire by the way looks looks like sapphire but it has no sapphire so it's absolutely fire we got stuff like this we have this kind of effect with like this like glitchy mosaic thing going on we have these super smooth animations these 3d tracked animations as well Boom, we got a bunch of cool ones. And this is part of the pack as well, so you can just swap it or even just grab the lyrics, put them in a pre-comp and put them into your video. It's super simple, it's straightforward, just like how you would do it in here, but it's just on top of a video just to give you guys more of a visual example of how you can use this. So yeah, it comes with presets, as you can see right here, that's one of the presets in our GV3. And this as well, this little flashing going on, pretty subtle, but that's part of energy v3 as well this one as well even the uh blood overlays and blood splatters you will be getting in this pack as well there's just so much in this pack and everybody eats and that's why it's great because it's fast it's smooth it's reliable you don't need a fucking nasa computer to run this it runs on pretty much any device i mean you need after effects but it's smooth looks great saves you time and it has everything you need don't need to go hunting for fonts you don't need to spend hours keyframing animations. All you gotta do is type, swap, done. You got awesome lyrics. The rapper's happy. Your project looks fire. And everybody who's bought it has been super happy. I've been getting flooded with messages. I try to respond to everybody. I'm not saying that like I'm a celebrity. I literally got a thousand followers on Instagram. But I do get a lot of DMs from people buying this telling me that this pack is fucking awesome and it saves them a bunch of time. So that said, I'm also gonna be making a V2 of this. So if you guys want to get the V2 when it comes out, it's probably gonna come out in a month. And if you already have the V1 of this, so the one that's out right now, you'll be getting 50% off the next one. And whenever I do release the next one, the price on this one is gonna go up. It's at $57 right now, it's gonna go to 67, and the new one is gonna be $77. And if you wanna buy them together, if you don't have any of them and you wanna buy both of them when it does come out, I'm gonna be bundling it up as well. Not sure how much it's gonna cost yet, but y'all will be the first to know. Anyways, as always, and now to explain why I haven't been active recently. So for those who care or whatever, want to hear why I haven't been active, what's going on behind the scenes and all that. So first of all, I have been working like a fucking dog, 12 hours a day, making packs, upping just a bunch of stuff more on the business side. I've been working on the Instagram as well. 
Uh, last time I posted on YouTube, I probably had like 200 Instagram followers. Now I'm at like 1,200 or something like that. So I've been grinding Instagram as well. So I haven't been that active on YouTube and I've just been doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I've been planning a trip. Uh, I'm going to Bali in about uh, two weeks and I'm going to take you guys with me. It's a business trip. Uh, we're going to be meeting with like 15 different entrepreneurs. There's a bunch of different types of people who are going to be there all in this like house in Bali. So we're going to be making a bunch of content there, more tutorials, a bunch of stuff is going to be going down and I'm going to take y'all on the ride with me. So that's why I haven't been active. I've had a lot of things in the works, a lot of things to manage, a lot of things to do, but I'm going to be back on the YouTube grind. I know I haven't been very, very amazing with y'all recently. It's been a minute. I know I haven't uploaded since like what, July 22nd. Yeah, like two months ago. So everything is going to start falling back into place. I'm going to hop back on the YouTube grind. So once again, sorry for not uploading in like two months. I know, but don't worry. I'm coming back with a bunch of value. I got so much stuff in the works that y'all are not even ready. So if you want to follow all of this journey, get more value, see what's going to be going on in Bali, learn more about music videos, learn how to edit, learn how to use my packs and just overall how to become a better editor Then man, just subscribe and we're gonna keep going on this journey. Uh, Y'all have absolutely changed my life and I couldn't be more grateful for every single one of you. Uh, we're not a lot, but those who do show support, it really means everything to me because I wouldn't be able to do this full time if it wasn't for you guys. And I've been doing it full time for about a year and a half now and I couldn't be more grateful. So thanks to you guys, I can continue my passion of video editing and helping people edit better. So yeah. Thanks for your support. It means the world. Y'all have literally changed my life in like two months. So <laughs> thank you guys. And I will catch you guys next time. Next video might be in Bali. So boom, peace.